Thank you so much, Allie, Abby. Allie and Abby in the same event, who, who knew? So before we throw the uh, middle school finals match two, I've got one quick note to make. Uh, I have been corrected. Uh, the uh, trivia comment we did earlier about the same program to win excellence and tournament champions in the same year, we mentioned that that was as XJTU. Turns out the database we were looking at didn't include live remote world championship, uh, the year of changeup. That year, Team Why Not also won both excellence and tournament champions. So Grant Cobes, you got me. All right, with that being said, we're ready for middle school finals match two. We've got two world champions already. Let's find out if we're gonna crown a third. Keegan, take it away on that field. It's the NASA field we're on, and thank you very much, Grant. We are here for game number two of the middle school final. If you've forgot what happened in game number one, a two-point differential for the opportunity division. Defeating the technology 194 to 192. Game number two, if the opportunity wins this, we have a world champion. If technology wins this, we will go the distance. Let's recap their journey. First for the Red Alliance, the number five seeded technology. They won the playing game against Science by TQ 192 to zero. Won the semifinal versus the number one math team, 197 to 180. First, we introduce Team 9123X from Shanghai. Please welcome Shanghai Ruigan Robotics Team. And their partners, Team 3324U, by the way, of Los Angeles, California, and the Science Academy STEM Magnet. Please welcome Supernova Hydra. The Opportunity Division in blue, needing a win to capture the crown. They won their play-in versus number three arts, 195 to 146. Won their semi-final versus number two engineering, 180 to 141. We introduced their first team, Team 9123C from Shanghai, China. Shanghai, Rugan Robotics Team C. And their partners, by the way, of West Vancouver, British Columbia in Canada, Please welcome Team 100-12W, 10-Ton Robotics! Hopefully you're still up with us. 7 o'clock local standard time here. About to have the game reveal after we're done, but maybe we go on to game three afterwards. Fix Nation, one more time, are you ready? Let's try this one more time, shall we? Let's see if you're still up. Vex Nation, are you ready? Dallas and around the world, help me one more time, count this match in. Our match begins in three, two, one, go! 15 second autonomous mode underway. Red Alliance gets two, Blue Alliance gets two. Upstairs they go. Eight seconds left, one to the top shelf from distance. No, Red, no. Three seconds left from distance, everybody's last second shots. Red will win. No, hold on. Making sure. Red will get the first 10 of the game. Technology is up. Drivers. Field Tech's looking at it right now. They're saying that one team is disconnected. So the question is, do we continue on? Field Tech's looking at this right now, making sure that we have the correct call either to continue on or must we reset. It's tense here. Again, game number two of the finals in middle school side. We will play on. Drivers, your match begins in three, two, one, go. Red Alliance playing two on one. Technology needing this to take us the distance. Three going upstairs for Team X. Three going upstairs for 10 Sun Robotics with a minute 32 left. Red Alliance getting another couple of discs upstairs for the Red Alliance side. One minute 25 remaining. They are doing all they can for the team from Opportunity. 10 Sun Robotics with a weight on their shoulders to try to make this a 2v1 and try to run it out. But 9123X is stuck on the barrier. We're down to a 1-1. But they get help. 33-24, Supernova Hydra puts them back in a 2-1. One. one minute and two seconds left to go. Chasing around, goes Team X onto 10-ton robotics. 
They're just chasing him. Anything you can do, I'll just do right behind you. 50 seconds remaining on the clock. Red container going upstairs, courtesy of Supernova Hydra. With 40 left. Dense on Robotics trying to make it here. Blue Alliance side now getting three rollers in their favor. Down to one on red with 30 seconds remaining. Another couple of shots upstairs. Ten ton Robotics with the weight of the team. Trying to make a 2v1 run. It is close. In all aspects, live scoreboard shows you 11 point differential. Still in favor with that 10 point autonomous bonus in the red. And now, here's where champions are made. 11 seconds, end game enabled. Who's gonna fire away? Who's gonna extend? Two seconds left, three seconds left to go. Game will fire, and that is the buzzer. The question is, will opportunity win it here? Or will technology take us to game number three? We will find out soon enough. We go back to Grant. All right. So I've got a crowd pleaser moment uh, prepped here, but I do want to clarify one thing real quick before we start that. Uh, a lot of you might have noticed in that match, one robot on the, I believe it was the Blue Alliance, uh, 9123, uh, was stationary for most of the match. The field techs have confirmed that this was due to their radio smart cable being unplugged, being pulled out during a head-to-head -head interaction. It was not due to a field disconnect or anything like that. So just want to make sure you all were aware of that. So with that being said, a lot of you probably picked up some of these discs in your divisions after matches were over. We've got some here with a little something extra on them. So who wants one? champion all right everyone this could be it we have the scores for middle school match number two and the winner is the technology division that's right it is official we are heading for a third match exciting for us and exciting for our audience